Well, the Lord be with you, and happy Father's Day. Got a uh, few announcements for you. Uh, next Saturday night, our 507, uh, yeah, 507 service will be held in the former sanctuary. So if you uh, are inclined to come to that service next weekend, just remember it'll be in the former sanctuary rather than here, and that'll be the the uh, uh, operation until uh, the end of the summer. Now, big announcement. In your pew, there are some little cards. These are invitation cards that you can use to invite someone to come to our Guide and Country service, which will be held two weeks from today. Our service times will be at 9 and 11. If you've been here for the service in the past, you know it's very festive. We have a uh, great choirs and music and uh, orchestra. Of course, we'll have God's word and and we'll have a message. We'll have a message devoted to God and to country. And uh, Holy Communion will be celebrated. It'll be a great, great worship service. And hope, hopefully, you'll be able to attend one of those. Uh, and that maybe you can invite someone. Better yet, bring someone to the service. Now, I'm going to invite our Vacation Bible School staff to. Uh, come forward as I make my third announcement because we're going to install our vacation Bible school staff right along here. Come on up and face me. It starts tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. It's going to be every night this week from 6 to 8.30. And right now we have, unless the count has changed, 133 youngsters coming tomorrow night. And we've got, I think, 92 volunteers, and I think they're going to need every one of them. <laughs> but you know what? There's room for more youngsters, so if there's someone that uh, you know that's not coming, they're welcome to come tomorrow night. They can register right at the door, and that goes for every night during the week. Of course, it's better if they come the first night and then come the rest of the week. So we certainly hope that uh, if you have someone that hasn't registered, that you can reach out to them and invite them to come and join us. Well, these sisters and brothers have, have felt the call and have answered the call to a position of leadership and service with our congregation's 2017 Vacation Bible School. We give thanks for their willingness to serve. In baptism, we all were welcomed into the body of Christ and and we've received the great commission to share in the mission of God. We rejoice now that these sisters and brothers will help lead us in our common life and our mutual mission as disciples of Jesus Christ, as a congregation. So hear now a reading from 1 Corinthians. There are varieties of gifts, but the same Spirit and there are varieties of service, but the same Lord. And there are varieties of activities, but it is the same God who activates all of them in everyone. To each is given the manifestation of the Spirit for the common good. You have been elected and have answered that call to a position of leadership and trust. You are to see that the words and deeds of this household of faith bear witness to God who gathers us into one whole church. You are to be faithful in your specific area of serving that the spirit who empowers you may be glorified and you are to be examples of faith, active in love, fostering peace, harmony, and mutual understanding in the congregation and in the dealings with these dear ones. Now, on behalf of your fellow members, I ask you, will you accept and faithfully carry out the duties of the 2017 Vacation Bible School of Trinity Evangelical Lutheran Church? If so, respond by saying, I will and I ask God to help and guide me. I will and I ask God to help and guide me. I invite the congregation to stand. And I would ask you to turn and face, face your congregation. People of God, 
I ask you, will you support these sisters and brothers, and will you share in the mutual ministry that Christ has given to all who are baptized? If so, respond by saying, we will and we ask God to help and guide us. We will. I now declare to you the 2017 Vacation Bible School that you are now officially installed and we ask that Almighty God bless you and direct your days and your deeds in peace that you may be faithful servants of Christ our Lord. Amen. And let's show them our appreciation and support.